what you are about to hear in this video is not for those who have faint of brain, faint of mind, faint of ear, faint of anything. So, if you're offended by anything I'm about to say in this video, then please, for the love of God, don't watch it. Thank you and have a nice day. Hey everybody, welcome to an episode of Spot the Liberal. It's Kevin the Skull Anderson here portraying different voices. I bet you already caught that by now, but whatever. Seriously? I mean, let's just get to it already, man. It's just... I mean, we're almost a minute until the video, so let's just get this thing started. You know, that's not a bad idea. I think we should go ahead and do that. I agree with that, absolutely. I want you to take a good look at this man. Seriously though, man. Take a good look at him. You see him? That's Bill Cosby. He done fall from grace, man. He done fall from grace. And it's his own doing as well, you know what? It's his own doing, and you know why? Because he knows he should have been found guilty, but for whatever reason, two idiots in the jury refused to agree with the other 10 jurors in the jury. So after 60 hours of deliberation, those two holdout jurors caused the mistrial, according to an anonymous juror who agreed to speak with ABC News. And this is coming from Alexia Fernandez for the news magazine People. I want you to explain to me who the names of those two idiot moronic jurors are. I'm serious. I'm not even kidding. They know who they are. They know they done screwed up everything. Oh, no question about it. Now the judge is actually trying to figure out the names of the jurors on whatever the heck else. Because quite frankly, I don't care anymore. Hey, I got an idea. Let's move on to something else. Let's Let's move on to something a little less offensive and stuff. Ah! Oh my God, what is that? What did you discover? I'm just curious. Now that I think about it, thousands of Muslims in Washington, D.C. ended up turning out for the funeral of a fellow teenage female Muslim who apparently was killed for whatever reason and it's just really complicated and it's difficult to explain and stuff. It's really difficult. So for whatever reason, John Bowden is writing for The Hill in this article. And according to NBC News, and apparently according to him, Hassanin and several other Muslim teens were heading home from a local mosque after Ramadan services when they were confronted by an illegal alien named Darwin Torres, who was 22. And while the other teens managed to flee the scene, Hassanin was the only one that got caught and Torres beat her to death for whatever reason. Now, I think this is a hate crime, me personally. Yeah, I totally think it's a hate crime too. And I'm talking out of experience, man. Yeah, but here's the problem. The white people are no longer the majority in this country. Man, what's the matter? Are you a white supremacist? Are you from the Q Klux Klan or something? No, I'm just speaking the truth. And I'm not even racist. I've got a color TV to prove it. An HD one at that. So also, according to NBC News, Police say they haven't ruled out any hate crime charges, but do not have any evidence to believe that she was targeted due to her being a Muslim or whatever, or some stuff. Because 
Honestly, I don't care anymore. I just think it's all BS, if you want me to be honest about it. Yeah, I think we all know who the liberal is here. Who, the Muslim teenager? No! The guy who committed the hate crime, Torres. Oh, man, see, see, I don't watch the news no more because TV brainwashes your minds into thinking a certain way. And then they want you to believe in the lies that they tell you. That's why people don't watch TV no more. Um, well, I think that's enough of that for now, so maybe we should get to the next story and be done with it, right? I mean, we only got one more story to go, and... We're gonna be at it all day, so don't even worry about it. We'll just comment on all the stuff we see as far as news is concerned and go from there. And no breaks in between? No. No? Okay, let's, let's take a... Oh my god! Is that an English Catholic? Well, well let, me, let, me, let me see this. Let me see this. So what are you looking at? See, this, this is why I'm not a Catholic. This is why I have nothing to do with Catholicism. See, the head of the Church of England says that it hid the sex abuse scandal that was going on for years and years and years and years and years. And for whatever reason, the head of the Church of England is a big part of it. You see that? Now that's why I am a Baptist, an independent Baptist, no less. Now, folks, I want you to take a good look at this, man. You see that? That man is a straight-up liberal. He's as liberal as you can get. He's even worse than a liberal. He's a progressive, and progressives are the worst. What, you don't believe me? Ask the Associated Press. Then came up with this, with this article, so you can blame them for that. Although they are being truthful here in most cases when it comes to stuff like this, but who cares? All right, so as I'm reading the article here, it says that this Archbishop of Canterbury named Justin Welby made the statement Thursday as the church published a review of how it handled the case of former Bishop Peter Ball, who was convicted and imprisoned in 2015 after pleading guilty to offenses including two counts of indecent assault. No, there are two liberals. Ah, 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 ah. Tell me you didn't just say that. Because if you did, then it's on like Donkey Kong up in this mu- Don't even thinking about dropping the MF. Seriously. Someone told you not to stop cursing in your videos, so you gotta, you gotta listen to what that person said. Yeah, I already know that. But see, rules are meant to be broken. And rules don't really mean anything to most people anymore because most people cheat the system by claiming to be disabled and getting checks from the government every month. And that is complete bullcrap. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with you on that one. Me too. I think we should do one more. I'm sorry, what was that, Enoch? You wanna do one more? Is that what you said? Absolutely, I'm a messenger of God, so what God says is law, so we have to do one more. On the ladies and gentlemen, we have some very sad news for all of you. Apparently, Henry J. Deutschendorf II, who played baby Oscar from Ghostbusters 2, died of suicide at the age of 29. And nobody knows why that is, and according to the medical examiner's office, he died from suicide by hanging himself on a noose. So, 
For whatever reason, the pressures of fame clearly got to him, and they ended up killing him in the end. And nobody understands why that is, so why am I even talking about this? I mean, we all know he's going to he double L or whatever, or is it H E double hockey sticks, or forget which. Anyway, his brother William Deutschendorf told TMZ that his brother, who was named for his uncle John Denver, had long suffered from schizoaffective disorder, which is a combination of bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. And this caused him to experience hallucinations, delusion, depression, and mania. And his brother fought for his life every day. And that's just tragic, because there's lots of people who suffer from illnesses like that. Everyone suffers from illnesses every day, and most doctors don't even believe them half the time, so they don't diagnose them. And that's another problem with our world today. Nobody gets their advice taken at face value by a doctor because the doctor doesn't think they're serious about it. Anyway, that's the end of this video. So if you want to check all this other stuff on my channel, feel free to check that right there. See it? You see it? You see it? Oh, God, that's, that's too much innuendo there. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave it right there. Have a go!